G'day, that slot car guy here, and welcome back to another slot car review and a massive thank you to Armchair Racer for sending me Polycar's latest release, the WRX STI. Now, this is part of their home racer series. It is their budget series, but I think you are gonna be surprised by the performance of this thing. So stick around, we're gonna do a full unboxing, tear down, hot lap, and test the motor. So let's get stuck into Polycar's WRX STI. Welcome back to another slot car review and a huge thank you to Armchair Racer who did send me the brand new Polycars WRX STI and I tell you what, this is part of the Home Racers series and I think you're going to be surprised how well a budget car runs and yes, this is their budget range but let's have a quick look at the packaging and I absolutely love the black and yellow. I like how the tyre mark is on the actual box itself. I really, really like that. Flip it around and there's some writing on the rear you can have a read of. But again, this is part of the budget range. So if you're a new to a slot car or you've got a younger family member, this is an eight plus car, I think this would be perfect for them to get started on. But you're gonna, tell, you're gonna see that this isn't just a budget car. So let's zoom in. As always, we're gonna do a full tear down. I'm gonna test the magnetic force of the motor and of course, a hot lap. And if you can hear some birds in the background, I do apologize, I mean country Victoria. And for some reason, they wanted to come watch the show. So let's get stuck into the tear down. Alrighty, so I removed the shell from the chassis and all it took was four screws. Really simple to do and I'll show those locations in a tick. But I want to point out a real plus with this car and it is a budget car. And I'll keep saying that this car is well under hundred Australian dollars, well under. Uh, I'm not going to give you a pricing because every shop will differ, but this is a budget range car and we are running lights on the front. Powered lights on the front, not on the rears, just on the fronts. But I think every car in today's standard should have running lights. It adds to the realism of the car itself and it's run by this plug. The only other real thing to make note of is the how shallow the cockpit is because these figures have been cut off around about under the armpits or maybe the hips. But really cool, budget car running lights. I think that is a plus. So good move for Polycar there. And keep in mind, Polycar is a part of the slot it family tree. Now let's have a look at the chassis. This is a plastic chassis, it's a one piece chassis. And what does that mean? There's no real adjustments to it at all. And I'm gonna say there's no adjustments at all. What you can do, you can shave the sides, you can cut down the uh, support arms to make it lower and get rid of the body roll, but that is about it. I like it, how it's not adjustable. Put it on my track, pull the trigger and off I go. But what's inside this thing? We've got an inline motor. This is running 13,500 RPM at 12 volt. So this motor is gonna be running at 14 volt on my track. So I think I'm gonna get a bit more punch out of it. Uh, we're running a bar magnet at the rear and I'll try and zoom in on that. A bar magnet just at the rear of the car. And of course we've got some, I think it's maybe plastic or nylon. Um, don't hold me to it, uh, rear pinion and spur gear. Uh, something else to take note of, this little circuit board obviously is running the motor and the lights, but you'll see just next to it, and I'll try and get rid of the shine for you, we've got two hole locators, one in the middle and one on the edge. That hole right there will allow you to run a Carrera digital chip. Now I've lined that up with my Carrera digital car, and yes, that chip lines up. I haven't installed it, but I'm going to go out and say yes, you can put a chip in. And I'm going to guess the front one is for your Scalatric Digi chip. This is a budget car allowing you to run two different chips. Now, if I'm wrong on that, please hit the comments, but I'm feeling pretty confident that that's the case. Uh, tires, they feel rubber, and I don't know how good they're gonna be until we run them, and it appears we've got some plastic rims going on there. So, you know, basic stuff, but it's a basic car. Upside down, we've got, there you go, you can see the bar magnet here, and it's actually really well exposed, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna have some uh, good magnetic force on the track, and of course, your guide at the front. Now talking about the guide, there is a little bit of adjustment there, a little bit of play, and you're probably thinking, what can I do with that? Well, my recommendation, well, if you are doing a rally track, you might be able to loosen it off a bit so we get some travel, but other than that, it's quite basic. So for a budget car, a car that's well under 100 Australian dollars, there's a lot of options on this thing that you can do. So let's test the magnetic downforce of the motor, then we'll chuck it on the trap for a hot lap, and then I'll give my recommendations of what I think, is this worth a purchase uh, for you? Alrighty, so I've set up SRC's UMS device to measure the magnetic downforce of the motor. So I'll place it on and we'll try and find the center. And it is running 31.98 grams of downforce. So there you go. Now the big question is, how does this budget car perform around my track and what time will I be putting on my board? So let's take this thing for a spin around my track. Thank you. 
before you get an eight seconds. Back to 10.99 seconds. So the big question is, how does Polycar's Home Racer Budget Series WRX STI perform around my track? And I, I'm actually blown away by the performance this has from factory onto my track. Now, what makes it budget? The price. It's well under 100 Australian dollars. I don't know what it costs in your country, but in Australia, this is well under 100 Australian dollars, which puts it right in the budget range. And of course, the chassis itself isn't anything special. It's a plastic chassis, but... I don't think that matters because I did a 1068, which puts this thing third fastest on my track, and that was an easy, easy 1068. Now keep in mind, I am running 14 volts. This motor is a 12 volt motor, so it's gonna go faster on your Carrera track. On your Scalatric track, I'm not too sure, but I cannot fault it. The only thing I can say is those tie downs, which you use to put the car in the box, I'm not a fan of those. That's the only thing I can say I did not enjoy about this review. A simple screw or the turning screw would have been perfect, but I can't fault this car. I highly recommend Polycar's Home Racer Series WRX STI, and I will be trying the other range because bang for buck, that is seriously impressive. Now the box does say eight plus. I don't care about age. That is a fast car, so you might have to turn it down a bit, but I think any car should be driven by everyone. It's it's a great hobby, so I don't think the age should matter, but it is a fast car. Um, but as always, at That Slot Car Guy, thank you very much, Armchair Racer. This was their recommendation, and I tell you what, these people know their stuff, so thank you for sending it to me, and I will definitely be purchasing more from that range. Um, but please, like and subscribe, hit the comments. Have I said something wrong? I normally do. Is there something I've missed? I hope I've covered everything. But also, the lights. Take note, I did not have the lights running on my track because I was so excited to run it, I forgot to plug the lights in. Of course, something has to go wrong in all my videos, but it does have active lights. Uh, please jump over to Instagram. I did take some photos of this, and again, it was faultless when it comes to photography for this car. The photos came up so good, I'm just blown away by the review itself. So, Polycar, really well done. It's a budget car, it shouldn't be. This is an absolute weapon. But as always, at That Slot Car Guy on Instagram and on YouTube, take care, be safe, ciao.